go back to the fight. This is your range, first off. Hello, hello, Bikram. We're going to do a short, short, uh, how to fight Sly Thingy. Then Master Glory plus spell build. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you just how to fight him. I just avoid this attack and punish. Nothing really special. Now I'm using Mark of Pride because I I'm used to it. But basically it's just don't get hit and hit him. He play blades. This is the weir wind, so I can do descending dark to avoid. Play blade, I take my space. I wing. Obviously, you're not want to take damage during radiant fight. But yeah, you want to stay close to him, like at this range. So uses the Beyblade, which is the most easy to. You see, Beyblade. It's the easiest to punish. Obviously, again, you don't want to take those damages. Then you can keep pogoing him and deal damage, or you can just descending dark, as you prefer. Now phase two is easier than it seems. I keep making silly mistakes and jumping on him. I see, I see. Beat me one today, Pog Champ. Let's go, Vikram. Nice job. Bait punish, bait punish, bait punish. Then the, yeah. I use nail arts. In Pantheon 3, I, I'm not able to use Nail Arts, that's pretty simple, that's a mile limit. So for the second part, you just want to dash away from him, just as soon as he does the Beyblade, you just go away, and then one nail, easy, one nail, easy, one nail, easy. You can use Spell to get double hits, but you can use Nail too. Nail, 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 nail. People get really frustrated in this part because he keeps doing what? So, but you see, it's super easy. Even without sound, you can beat him. I also like the nail arts because it makes more like a dance, Grim influenced me so much, yeah. Molek kept leaving me low and I died, but I found spamming old work. I might steal the sending dark thing with the Beyblade. Yeah, you can do that, you miss some damage, because obviously you miss some damage, but it's a great way to, to punish him. It's a really great way. And leave me 1 HP against Ora and Mato. Me too, I'm gonna link you my... Pantheon speedrun, Pantheon 1 speedrun. I was with 1 HP at the end of Oren Mato. That was so, so, ooh, so scary. Like at the end, I was with 1 HP and I was so scared. Went to go get another Charm Notch. Feels right. So let's keep the. Yeah, let's keep the sly thingy. Loving subscribed. <laughs> Thank you, Remy. So when he does the... He jumps to a corner and then does the long attack. You just want to jump and use wings. Then you go back and punish. You have... <laughs> Bad paint. You have this many. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 11. Go back to, to the paint. You want to jump, wings, and then go out behind him. If he, if he starts charging, but he has to, to do this one, he jumps back first. Did you do Grim? Yeah, sure, man. Are you adapting me? Are you really adapting me? Just... Look at this one. 
<laughs> ah, you mean for the charm knot, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see. I I lost you when I started to to draw here. Yeah, Salubra. Then which are others? So this is the dash attack. If he starts charging, but he isn't jumping back, so uh, let's make this for the charge attack. Okay. If he starts charging but doesn't f go back, that means that he's going to do the really big nail, nail art that I don't remember the name. And in that scenario, you just have to run away. Just run. Don't do anything else. So, you want to stay close to him. So that when he does the Beyblade attack, you can punish. So Salubra gives you like 5 for Canyon, Grim, Mushroom and Color 1. <laughs> you already have 11? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> LOL. Then another attack... Okay, so if you stay close enough to him. Let's make like this one. He will do nail swing first, then a turn around on him, and then he's going to do the Beyblade thingy. This attack will follow you. This, this is important. This attack will follow you. This is the, the attack that you are trying to bait every time. This is the attack you're gonna bait you're trying to bait every time because you can punish this easily and consistently. So, which is the problem with this one? That if you shadow dash at the first one, if you shadow dash at this attack, you're gonna be in this position and he's gonna do a little walk and then do the arch attack. And you really don't wanna do that. Because then you're gonna die. I got the Geist. I hit him with the short second slash. It seems to be the most effective. 5% left. Pantheon 5 color free and last mask. Mask is gonna be really hard for me, lol. Ah, you're missing the, the white flower. I see. Yeah, the white flower. is. You're just gonna take it chill. Really don't wanna take that like, I have to do this now. Take your time for the last flower. So again, this is a, this is the most important attack. I'm gonna spend like a minute more. You wanna stay close, but you don't wanna be too impulsive. If you just walk away for the first and the second attack, then you just dash under him while he does the bay blade on top. Alrighty. And then you turn and you can do two nails, two nail swings because before you just fall back a bit. So other attacks that I don't remember. Yeah, there is the jumping one. Sometimes already done flower, flower quest. Which one are you missing? So for the last mask, I tend to go over him and go underneath for the second slash. For the cyclone, when he spins, I think the best option is to use wings, go up here, then pogo. You pogo him. And then you can keep Pogo or do Descending Dark. You can decide what to do. Okay, you're missing Bretta. <laughs> ah, yeah, because there is the there is one Mask Shard before Zote. I think that for the Whirlwind one, your best option is to 
use wings and then Pogo descending dark. Then sometimes he will just jump and then fall down and once he's down he's gonna do a attack like this overhead. In that scenario you just want to wait away enough that you don't get hit by the attack on top, then you walk and you do one nail swing and go back. For the last part, it's just really really easy, you have just to stay chill. If this is the arena, he will do watata, hatata, and then once he's here, he'll do a Beyblade thing around him. You just want to dash away and go back and do a nail swing. You don't want to be in the corner, otherwise you're just gonna get destroyed. But yeah, you do what da 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 da. You dash and then nail swing. Pretty easy. Last thing. Ooh, you, wow. Galeon is raiding. Thank you so much. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Ciao a tutti ragazzi. Benvenuti. La prossima volta ne meno numeri. What are you meaning by the less time, less number, please? Ah! Yeah, this is Hollow Knight. I'm just, I'm explaining. I'm explaining how to fight Radiant Sly. <laughs> ah, you mean the 21924. I see. <laughs> I, I'm actually asking, I'm, I'm willing to ask Twitch if I can change. It's very hard to write to you. <laughs> This is how you fight Radiant, radiant uh, Sly. Thank you so much, Bat Piro. Grazie, grazie per il follow. Grazie tante. Davvero. Grazie davvero tante. Oh, I already got an email too. So the last part of the Sly fight is that you need to. Yeah, this is this is the important part. Number in a nick are old for men. Who is I serve my queen inside her dream? <laughs> Thank you so much, Vince Conji. Grazie davvero. Thank you so much. I know who I stand weapon in hand at Colo. You need to get good. <laughs> I'm 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 getting gooder. I'm I'm getting gooder. Vince Conji, Il Jollo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, actually, let me let me do my thingies. Um, wait a moment. Where is that? Social. Okay, let me sponsor myself a bit. <laughs> so, I've been your stream. I saw that you were doing um, Dark Souls. What is the Queen? Zot is the dream. So Remy, I hope that this um, paint tutorial has helped you. Just be careful. The last one, last thing. You don't have to stay in the core. You don't. You don't have to let him run towards you because if you are too far away, like this, he will keep running towards you, and you are keep going away, so that you are in the corner, and that he will do this attack, this one and will kill you for sure. I will tell you from experience, don't run away from Sly. Don't be scared about him. That's the way you wanna fight him. Just, just be chill. Stay close and you have to be sure what you're doing. And this is how you fight Well, <laughs> This is how you fight Sly, guys. I've got all the steps. And that's left is a perfect execution. So this is how you fight Sly. Perfect. I'm leaving you guys on those six threats. I I'll, I'll go hit the sack. Have fun and have a good night. Good night, Galeon. 
gonna get some sleep now. Good night, Remy, too. Have a great one. Sweet dreams.